Hi, my name is Mauricio Wayne. And I'm Emily Woodward. Welcome to the February edition of Washington Nightly. The monthly news videos for all things are going on at Washington Middle School. We have several reporters in the field that have been working on news and happenings for our school community. Let's check in with some of them now. Hi, my name is Ryan. Mr. Edge is one of the teachers here at WMS. He teaches fifth grade math, keyboarding, and health. He's been teaching for seven years in his teaching career, and he has been teaching for five years at WMS. If you're wondering, he taught at three different schools, Umpire High School in Arkansas, Washington Middle School in Arkansas, and Wright Middle School in Tennessee. I've been nominated for Teacher of the Year, Mr. Edge says. When we asked if his students liked him, he said, yes, I enjoy my students. His dream job will be a full-time Twitch streamer. Mr. Edge says that he enjoys teaching fifth grade math, but history will be his favorite subject to teach. And he said that he enjoys learning about history. Mr. Edge is a hardworking teacher and his students like him a lot. All in all, Mr. Edge is a pretty great teacher. Hi, my name is Allie. The book fair is open from February 11th to February 17th. There will be a special preview for the AO students and teachers on February 10th. Ms. Turner is going to match the book fair to the colorful library. The book fair will be during school hours and during parent-teacher conferences from, on February 15th from 3.30 to 6.30. For parents who don't feel comfortable sending money with their child to school, you can use eWallet. eWallet is very easy to set up. Of course, you can always send money with your kid to school to purchase books and other merchandise. Remember, a portion of the proceeds go to the who purchase more books for the library and supplies for makerspace for the school library. The popular items at the book fair are normally the school supplies, or as most teachers call toys. We will always see what is the most popular item this year. Hello, I'm Eden Webb. And I'm Henley Marcus. Do you love snacks? Well, then you should come to the WMS Snackathon. From chips to cookies, candies to sodas, we have all delicious snacks. The next Snackathon will be on February 14th, 2022. When talking to Miss Hill about the proceeds, she stated that the money they raise from the Snackathon is for the PTO fundraiser. The idea for the Snackathon has been around quite some time, but Miss Hale just changed it, the procedures up a bit. Although everyone loves all the, all the delicious food, the WMS student favorite is hot chips. The hot chip selection includes Takis, hot fries, and hot Cheetos. The drinks, snacks, and cookies are $2, and the chips are only $1. As you can see, we have all delicious snacks with amazing reasons to buy them. Hello, Washington. I'm Labria Moses. Do you know how important the AR testing is to our school and many others across the country? It measures the reading level of all of our students. If a child's reading level measures at a 5.2, that means fifth grade second month. Tests are taken every nine weeks and studies have shown our stu students are expected to show growth for each one. Independent reading is strongly suggested. Studies have shown that reading just for 20 minutes at home each day can grow can grow a student's reading level by one year and seven months. If a child decides to read more than their reading level can should grow much more. Teachers are told to incorporate their students into classes, but if there are several, several students with a much higher reading level than the rest of their peers, they are strongly encouraged to read more challenging books. These tests are taken from 1st grade through 12th grade. Hi, I'm Peyton. Last week, Miss Davis had auditions for the upcoming Moana Junior Play. This play is inspired by the Disney film Moana. If you've never seen the movie, it's about an adventurous teenager who sails out on a mission to save her people from danger. The play will be performed at the EHS Auditorium on May 17th and May 19th at 6 p.m. The judges that helped at tryouts were Mr. Scott, Ms. Ashcraft, Ms. Escamilla, Ms. Jamerson, a Barton Choir teacher, Ms. Barbarata, Hugh Goodwin Elementary Music Sus Choir teacher, and Mr. Turner, Northwest Elementary Music Sus Choir teacher. There are eight main roles. 
At tryouts, the judges rated the students on their singing ability, reading of the script, vocal expression, stage presence, and ability to dance slash move, and their ability to project their voice. Congratulations to the cast for the upcoming play. Make sure to attend the musical to see our students put on an amazing performance. Hi, I'm Avery. And I'm Ansley. Miss Griffin's classes are doing project for Black History Month. What they are doing is making a presentation about an African-American historical figure of their choice. The most common people selected for this project are Jackie Robinson and Maya Angelou. Ms. Griffin says that the importance of this project is for students to learn more about everyday people and the impact that they have on history. The project will also expand students' minds about people from different backgrounds, cultures, and race. The goal is for students to learn about those who opened up opportunities for other African Americans. To learn about the sacrifices, determination, and other people who gave so much to this country and world. Most students only know about a few African Americans in history. Ms. Griffin wants to expand her students' learning and knowledge about the importance of African Americans' play in the history of our country. She wants students to expand their minds to learn about different artists, inventors, musicians, etc. The due date for this project is February 21st. So students, go work hard and learn lots. That was a lot of information for this month. As you can see, Washington Middle School has a lot going on this time of year. Check out our newsletter on the WMS website. Make sure you tune in next month for our next installment of Washington Nightly. We will have some information about up upcoming events such as the Steam Day and how to purchase a yearbook.